Technically speaking, it started um, when I started doing comedy when I was in my, in my teens, like 15, 16, uh, doing sketches with my mate from school, Martin. Uh, my dad had already been doing, doing comedy, like stand up for a while, and also my big brother, so it was just a kind of natural thing. We both kind of went into comedy from there, it was just like, I always took it for granted a wee bit. Uh, so I'd started doing sketches with Martin, uh, we entered this teen comedy competition. We got the finals down in London, hosted by Jonathan Ross. Uh, so technically my first gig was in the London Comedy Store, emceed by Jonathan Ross, so everything since then has been steadily downhill uh, rapidly. <laughs> you can't start off with a gig like that and then expect to keep uh, going up the way. But, uh, so we did a few sketches. Um, my stage name at the time was just a wee man, generally, for kind of that encompassed a lot of characters that I did. Well, not a lot, but a few. Um, so one of the characters that did a couple of sketches was a Ned character, actually called Scratchy, I think, at the time. Um, so after a few years of doing the sketches, I wanted to start doing stand-up solo, but I wanted to pick one of the characters that I did um, uh, to do stand-up with. So I just kind of picked an Ed because it was always got a got a reaction from uh, the crowd. It's kind of familiarity thing, and plus it's cheap laughs to walk up in a bubbly hat and do a voice like ah! like immediately folk are laughing. So it kind of saves a bit of time. Right? <laughs> obviously, when the video came about, uh, which is what obviously most people kind of would know me me from and the character from. Um, that was actually the DJ behind that and seen me doing stand up as a character. Uh, the song was already recorded, that existed, so just to, you know, dispel any myths and stuff, I'm always adamant about saying this, but it's not my song. Uh, it was another guy's song uh, who Sean the DJ put a techno beat to and asked me to be in the video. And yeah, actually when the video came out, I'd kind of given up the character's uh, stand up thing because I got horrible scares in the review quite a big show that I was in, um, so I was just like, ah, fuck that, uh, gave up for a while, and then when the video came out, I was like, probably I'll get some gigs just to kind of <laughs> exploit this a wee bit. Um, so yeah, since then, uh, I've just kind of used the character to uh, get involved in like various strands of entertainment I'm quite interested in, it's been quite handy that way, as a wee kind of uh, custom made character to kind of get me involved in certain worlds that I've always had a passion for. You know? uh, there's definitely been times since then when I've just been like, oh, I'm sick of this character, and then there's been other times when the character's perfect um, for certain things, uh, like for instance getting involved in wrestling and whatnot, where you kind of need a character rather than just just me as myself, so I mean that'd be quite kind of bland. So there's, there has been certain times, I guess, uh, in part down to the video, where I've been a bit sick of it, uh, and that, like, I'm not saying it's like an albatross on my neck and stuff, but it's always going to follow me around, and particularly when I'm doing that character. So when I've been doing gigs, doing stand up, in the middle of a joke that I've written, and then like some of the crowd will just start shouting out lines for the song, <laughs> as if I'm going to join in and be like, really thankful that they're doing it and stuff. Well, I totally understand uh, where they're coming from, obviously, since I started doing it, I've kind of had uh, that opinion uh, presented to me about. It's always been like, even when people come up and do when I'm doing stand up and they've kind of been like, oh, I love that you're taking the piss out of Ned, like, oh, they don't realise you're taking the piss out of them. I've always been really quick to kind of shoot that down. Um, uh, because, the, I mean, the reason I started doing stand up is that character, the reason I picked that character to stand up, because at the time, um, I was so sick of seeing other comedians doing derogatory material about Ned's. I mean, at the time, practically every Scottish comedian I uh, knew was going up and at least doing a little bit about, oh, I hate these Ned's at the bus stop. Um, to the point where it was like, sometimes at least, I mean, it was kind of cheap laughs again, but sometimes it would, it would be quite demean to a whole kind of sector of society and quite kind of like caricature and like that, like uh, as Ned's. So I just kind of thought, well, uh, I'll go up and kind of present the Ned's point of view on it. And actually, when I started doing stand up as a character, it was written as I kind of actually started off my set with with it as a response to so many comedians, like I actually referenced it, and you see a lot of comedians kind of doing. Uh, so quite often I've been up at nights where comedians had already done them in their material and then I was going up and almost, in my opinion anyway, presenting a rebuttal, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> but in terms of being, it's, I'm not going to deny it's definitely a caricature, that's always been uh, um, very much angry behind it as, it's like even the fact that the wee man hasn't even got a real name, mm -hmm. it's been always quite deliberate and the look of him has become more and more cartoonish as it went on. 
uh, and that's been very deliberate. It's, it's very intentional that it's meant to be a kind of cipher. It's not meant to be this uh, kind of idealistic representation of Indians. I mean, uh, and at least in my opinion, that's um, that's what evidence that it's, it's as meant to be a cartoon. It's basically a cartoon character. It's, it's just meant to be funny. It's not meant to be pointing finger at any of society going like that. Because, I mean, look at this. We need, we need to stop these people and stuff. It's just kind of seen the fun, kind of the lighter side of what I see around me every day. Do you know what I mean? Walking with Glasgow or anywhere around it. Um, but in terms of getting involved in hip hop, you know, like, yeah, I've had that uh, said to me as well that it's like I'm only doing that character as a way to take the piss out of kind of Scottish rappers. Like, um, but it's like I, I've been quite surprised by that. Like, I've never seen it. I've never seen it like that. I mean, since I kind of started listening and got into kind of Scottish hip hop, uh, I've never seen it as just like Ned's. Ned rapping like that, like kind of taking the I mean, self part again. Kind of, uh, as soon as I started listening, I just saw talented people like doing it. And you know, part of the reason behind doing the kind of rap battle sketches um, with the likes of uh, um, KSVD and uh, Marco um, was to kind of uh, present that like, disparity between them, like me coming in as this caricature of a very cartoonish Ned character, and then seeing the difference between me and these like very talented uh, writers and rappers who that is kind of set up to for them to totally screw me, to totally destroy me in the videos and then the only way I can react is with a bit of kind of stupid cartoon violence and throwing a star and then just started David up and stuff. Is that <laughs> I mean that's kind of that is key to like how cartoonish the character is. Many people have come up and like, oh I know a guy, I know guys that are exactly like that. I'm like, really? You know guys that you was Ninja Star of David just to like, kill guys that have been in a rap battle in a swim pack, you know what I mean? It's, you know what I mean? It's very, very cartoonish. I totally understand uh, where people are coming from, but I've never been about either either taking the piss um, out of any side of society, anyone specifically, or like necessarily promoting any kind of antisocial behaviour. It's never been, like, because I've been accused of that as well, just like making you know, problems worse by promoting this, making it look cool. <laughs> but my argument always is like, at what point have I glamorised any of this, do you know what I mean? It's like, particularly in the rap battle sketches, and I see it as pretty obvious that, you know, the wee man character is pretty kind of idiotic when it comes up to these situations. It's not, it's not like I'm walking in going, ah, look at this cool guy, you want to be like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's not Scarface. <laughs> 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 well, chap face, maybe.